the reason there are no mirrors in my house. Nudity leads to bad, naughty things. Maurice, if I may interrupt, I haven't worn clothes since 1982. Clothes are seriously unnatural. Didn't you guys learn anything from the 60s? I had a revelation when I was in holiday in Germany. I'd always felt very... It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why have a love story with a manatee and the lasers? It's very important. You're kind of creepy. You're nothing like you are on the show. You're so funny there, joking with the family and putting out the fire started by the homeless guy and starting group hugs. But in real life, you're just plain creepy. You won't even tell us how old Jimmy is. All you talk about is Archie stuff like that nobody understands because it's complicated and how tight your pants are. That's not true. I also discussed love and passion and the manatee and the lasers. You, my dear, could use all three. You, my dear, are a philistine. I'm sorry, but this is one of the most degrading, debasing, horrific, unedifying, opportunistic things I have ever done in my life since that whole Rake's Progress lawnmower commercial. I Tommy, come, join me. This looks delicious, huh? Tap your smell. No, 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 no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology from me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, 
D'accord. Oui, les impérialistes américains big. That is propriété de un gouvernement français. And it's over. You're American idiot. They followed you here. Film show. <coughs> Did the tunic and goatskin boots give you a clue, maybe? I am a Viking, and a Viking that will not only help you unleash the furies, but unleash yourself. It's in my doors and work. Oh. Yes, but no more than anyone else, really. We're a nomadic people, Amy. We have cold fire in our souls. Ye have that fire too, Amy. You've just lost it since you've gotten television. Now, that being said, I'll answer your question. We are mostly nonviolent, though many of the Vikings travel to Scotland. And mind you, anyone who goes there will turn bloodthirsty. Who's on the way of men talk about what they've killed, how to start a fire, who has the best long boat. Women want to talk about keeping the community along our time. Ah, you eat my dick. You eat my dick. You eat my dick. It's time for action. Hey, so is that all there is to being a Viking? Pillaging? No, lass, no. Pillaging and battle are important. But still, what's that little value? Who's bad? Who's bad? Who's bad? Who's bad? And the battle axe? What's holding you back, Amy? All three of my book, I talk about listening to the bloodthirsty water spirit. It's really quite important if you want to enter Valhalla. I think I went there last night. Oh, no, that was Malibu. But it's the same sort of thing. Valhalla was that golf club, wasn't it? So, 
my daddy taught me how to slaughter a pig. That's very useful information. Oh, sure, I was a little nervous at first, but he put me in a room with a fork and a fat sow and told me he'd be back in an hour for some fat back and hog gels. As a mother, I'm proud to say I throttled the life out of that little piggy. I did it for my family, and I'll do it again. Feeding the family is my job as a mother. Daddy earns money and goes away with a secretary, and Mommy provides dinner and keeps a brave face on things, even though her heart is breaking. Where are my pills? Barry, you look like you've got something to say. I agree. Statistics show that families that spend time together naked are the best kind of families. You see, social class distinctions disappear when everyone is naked. I can't tell if you're rich or poor, black or white. It doesn't matter because we're all naked. Designer clothes? Try designer nudism. My body was made by the best designer around, Mother Nature. That's why we're lobbying to build a naked casino in Vice City so old people can gamble naked and poor people can lose hope in the bar. It is written, chapter 23, verse 5 of my book, he that gambles his money away is a fool, but he who believes in me will go to spend eternity in space with other affluent well-to-do people. It's that simple. Do what I say and you won't have to think for yourself. Oh, but I think it is, Pastor. We look around. Nudie clubs, discos, drinking. Do people want to be borrowed? Can you legislate morality? Can we tell people how to live their lives? Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Just look at prohibition or, or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot from history. Chairman Mao or Stalin, they purged their lands of degenerates and intellectuals, the scum of the earth in my book. And look at the great societies they built. People want to be told how to act. And most people are idiots, and that's exactly who my teachings appeal to. This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries, and without boundaries, how do you know where those... Unnecessarily, in my opinion. I agree. I don't think these people understand just how hard it is to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes it poopy. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday. before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to pressing issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. We'll be right back. You're listening to VCPR. Finally, a radio station for teachers and librarians. You've been enjoying pressing issues, but as is normal, you can't listen to an hour's worth of programming on this station without us begging for money. and postal workers and force us to watch network programming. That is a frightening thought. But like many things in life, you can throw money at something and feel better about yourself. VCPR is your public radio station, but you have to open your wallet. That's right. If you pledge at the $1,000 level, you'll get tickets for In the Future There Will Be Robots at the Vice City Arts Center. People who see that show say it's difficult to put into English. That must mean it's spectacular. Yes. But if you don't give money to VCPR, we could be thrown back to the Stone Age. Liberals will be set on fire in the streets. Give now. Let's return to pressing issues. Over to you, Maurice, in the studio. Useless, talentless asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I love him.
are discussing morality. Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Early man, as seen in the cave of Las Cores in France, questioned the morality of making the man. Recently, my city considered. Of course, the bill didn't get passed. But it made people think if you don't vote, you get morons in charge. Is that no? Naked. A curfew makes sense. You know how much money I save not having to wear trendy clothes? Read a history book. At the creation of the universe, the Big Bang, everyone was naked. Even you. Why do I have to stay behind this divider? Maurice, please. Because nobody is interested in seeing your damn life. Because we have standards of decency which you are offending. Look at me! Oh, I'm jumping up and down! Oh my goodness, get back behind the divider. Please, I'm married. What's so wrong with me? Why do you hate me because I'm happy? Jan, give me a hug. I won't hurt you. And by the sound of things, your husband is doing the same right now with his secretary. No, he worked through it. He was stressed. It's hard keeping a family together these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our past. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Oh, a breeze is so liberating. Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respect them. To treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, sir, why don't you move to Russia? Thank you. 